Here I will discuss briefly with you what the Fubini's theorem is about. That's the technical result which appears in many, in many arguments involving the bag integration, but most of the time it appears implicitly. Uh, yet, uh, once uh, we have to discuss this uh, with some details. So, it starts like this. We have two measure spaces, uh, two measure spaces like this. Then I can construct the what is called the semi-ring of rectangles, and that is the collection like like so. That's the all possible direct products of elements of this sigma algebra and this sigma algebra. Now on this direct on this semi-ring of rectangles, I can construct the sigma additive measure like this. It will be a sigma additive measure, and now, given the semi ring with the sigma additive measure, I can do the Lebesgue extension. I can do the Lebesgue extension to uh, where my universal set X is given like that, and that will be the measure space, which is normally called product measure space. It's the product of two original measure spaces X1 and X2. Now, in relation to this product measure space, we have what is known as Fubini's theorem, and that's the theorem which sounds like this. It says that the function is integrable with respect to the product measure space, and it gives if, if and only if description, if and only if, a special function f sub x is integrable with respect to the second measure space, where the f sub x is a function defined like that, that's the function where we fixed the first variable in my original function f of two variables, which, because it lives on the direct product universal space. Moreover, moreover, it's not enough. Uh, the function g is integrable with respect to the first measure space, where the g is a function like this. That's the full statement of Fubini's theorem. Again, function is integrable over the measure space if and only if the function obtained by fixing one of the variables is integrable over one of the measure spaces, the second measure space, and that's true for every x which you fix. Moreover, if you construct the function of integrals over the second measure space, that, that will be the function which depends on x, it depends on this subscript x, this function is integrable with respect to the second sorry, first measure space, plus uh, given the one of the one of the conditions are met, either function is integrable on the product measure space or this condition is met, you can always identify the integrals like this. The integral over the product measure space equal to this repeated integral over x2 and then over x1. Now the construction of product measure space can be extended to the setting where you have not two but a sequence of measure spaces. So when I have a sequence of measure spaces where n takes values 1, 2 and so on, with one extra condition that uh, the every measure space is finite and the measure of the universal set in each case is just one. In this case the construction of the product measure space and associated Fubini's theorem, it can be extended it can be extended to this setting too, and that's the extension. If first you construct the sigma algebra, sorry, semi ring of cylindrical sets this time, and that's the semi ring of, of this structure. So it's a collection of all direct products of elements of the sigma algebras Fn, but with the condition that almost every An is just your universal set. So in fact, Every a n in this product is a universal set except for maybe finitely many a n's. This kind of sets they call cylindrical sets, no cylindrical subsets, and the collection like this will be a semi ring of cylindrical subsets. You can define a measure for every cylindrical set like this, and that's a very uh, it's a very simple definition, in fact, uh, although the symbol here represents the infinite product, in fact, in this product, most of the factors, in fact, every factor except for finitely many ones, will be the unity, 
which means which renders this product a finite product. This will be a sigma additive measure. You can do the Lebesgue extension. You can do the Lebesgue extension now to this universal set X, which is the product of all XNs. And that's just the definition of the product. It's just a collection of all sequences where the first element comes from the first X, X1, and the second element comes from the capital X2, and so on. You can do the Lebesgue extension, and that would be the product measure space where the product involves infinitely many original measure spaces with this extra condition. And you can, in principle, you can present or state a Fubini's theorem in this case as well.